Hi guys, it's Rokla, the tea girl that's giving you all the tea of the tea love of being a tea. And today I'm going to do a demonstration of the power of makeup. Since I recently did some controversial videos and also some transgender videos, today I am going to give you a makeup video, something light, something nice, you know, something happy. So if you do not know the power of makeup, what I am actually going to do is that I am going to do one half of my face, full coverage, full makeup, full glam, and then one side that is very, very bland. So you can see the difference between my natural side and my full out Glamazon vibe side. But before we start, like I say all the time, please subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell. If you do, then you'll see all my latest videos that come out throughout the week. And if you already like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That way I can actually see that you guys like my videos and yeah, so far it's going really really good. Thank you guys so much for your support and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to start on this side, um, I'm going to keep this bare, so sorry I do have a pimple right over here and I did pop it, Ooh. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this side full glam this side there um, and I don't want to really cover this at the moment I just really want that to heal so yes so let's get started this is the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to prime with Nivea for men after shave gel again I am a cheap bitch like so and then just apply on just letting you know I'm not much of a <laughs> symmetrical type of person so my half side is not going to be perfect. I'm just going to go on the bridge of my nose and then that's it. Okay, cool. Once that is done, I'm going to go in with my full coverage foundation. As you all know, I'm not much of a full coverage girl. Usually, my thickest coverage is medium, but um, yeah, let's try and build this on my face. Again, I want to see a difference. So what I'm going to use is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW30. And we are just going to just apply it on like nothing. On, on, just the half side of my face. Cool. And then just with the Beauty Blender, just blending it out. So for coverage, um, a lot of people think that the more product the better. Well, that's a lie. Usually you just start off with a thin layer and then from there, if you see any blemishes or any redness, you build on top of that blemish or redness. So that way it gives more of an even finish, but then looks very um, flawless and not too cakey. So just make sure you're going a little bit at a time so the next thing that we're going to do is the concealer under the eyes and all the highlights on my face. What I'm using is from DB Cosmetics Classic Ivory and it's just a concealer stick like this. It's actually quite full coverage. I'm just going to use a little bit, only a little bit because it, is, it can go quite far. And then probably just over here. I'm only using my fingers to really just spread out the um, <laughs> the product. So yeah, and then I go in with my beauty blender. Cool. Just blending it in. Question: Do you ever have one side that you always kind of favour? I always favour this side for some reason, and then this side is like that. <laughs> Yeah, I always tend to always start on this side. What, what about you guys? Do you always start on your left or do you start on your right with makeup? Let me know down in the comments. So once that is done, I'm going to use some powder. What I'm going to do is use the Studio Fix powder in the shade NC30. And yes, we're going to do it all over our face. So I'm not wiping it like this. I'm just stippling it on. So that way I'm not really... Um, causing the foundation underneath to wipe off or anything like that. And plus this is a really good foundation powder 
because it kind of like fills in all these spots on your face that you missed out. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is go in with my bronzer and contour. I don't really liquid contour anymore. I think it's just a bit messy and like, I think it's just a bit unnecessary because obviously you do have like a powder to actually just do everything on top rather than the bottom. Again, I don't want to do too much, like too much layers. But because it's full coverage, everyone expects it to be like 10 layers. So yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with this. And then I'm just going to warm up my face. Cool. And I'm just using these two colours. I literally am just those bottom two. It's been a while since I did full coverage. Because again, I'm not really a full coverage woman. <laughs> I like sheer. I like very, very like light, like sheer. So the next product that I'm going to use is a blush. It is from Rimmel. It is in the colour light pink and it's called the Last and Finish Soft Colour Blush. So just going in just on the midpoint of my cheeks. Again, all I'm trying to do is just create more colour. So you can really go into the apples of your cheek if you want to. I kind of don't because um, I just feel like if I go too in, it just looks like I'm, what you call it, I got punched in the face, <laughs> or like I got irritation on my cheeks. So I usually go on this part of my cheek and probably up. So since this is full coverage, I'm just gonna go in with some contour. Should've done that in the first place actually. <laughs> but we're gonna use the same e.l.f. palette. We're gonna use the darkest color. And then we're just gonna concentrate that on the contours of our face. That's the new underneath. So the next thing that we're going to do is obviously a highlighter. And it's from MAC. It is called the Light Scapade. Um, this is really awesome and it does last long. It's kind of a unicorn mermaid sort of feel, sort of fantasy. But anyways, we're going to go in with our fan brush because I'm a glow baby now. And I really, really love Nikki right now. <laughs> she's just giving me life. And I'm so happy that she's getting the support that she's getting. Yeah, it's gonna be life. Okay, now I'm feeling like a disco ball. Cool, now we're getting into the eyebrows and eyes. So obviously um, my eyebrows is thick as <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just brush it through. Just make sure that it's flat and it's in the shape that I want. Cause it doesn't really take much for me. People will be like really envious of my eyebrows, but you can have them. <laughs> High maintenance, bushy eyebrows. But anyways, let's go into it. So using a eyebrow pencil, just do it a little bit at a time, guys. Don't go too hard up, because then you're gonna look like you've got a block, <laughs> a block of eyebrow just right there. And then what I do after that is I use a concealer to clean my eyebrow. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm an expert at doing eyebrows. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, I actually went off camera, my battery is starting to die. But um, I just put on a little bit of more highlighter in some areas. And so well, I'm really, really liking it. I'm, I'm feeling like a disco ball, like I said before, so it's good. But anyways, on to the eyes. So the color scheme that I'm thinking of right now is a more purplish sort of color, sort of color scheme. So I'm going for more of the um, burgundies and all the purples and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to use the Morphe palette and also the LA color palette um, because both of them are really, really good and some are colors in one palette, some colors in the other one. But anyways, let's get into it. So I am going to use the brown color over here just for my crease and then just go into the crease. Okay, I'm feeling useless. Um, my eyes are small and um, I really want to focus more on the outside so that way it just kind of makes my eyes more bigger than they should be. 
And then with my fluffy brush, I'm going to just blend it out. So again, I'm going to use my LA Color Palette and I'm going to go in with this color. Just going to use it as a transition. think that is going on and then we're gonna go in with our shimmer in the inside of our lid and I'm going to use the LA color palette again and we're probably going to use probably this pink color just right here And then we're gonna go in with a dark purple on the outside. So again, um, I might go with this burgundy color first, right there, and then go with the dark purples, just to give more dimension on the outside. And then kind of just blend that in. Okay, back to the LA color palette, and I'm going to go in with this really dark purple moment right there. Out. Okay, I'm feeling just a little bit more darker on the outside. So again with the LA colors, I'm going to use the black moment right here. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna go with some eyeliner. So I use Jordana. <laughs> so that's a two dollar um, budget as eyeliner. But hey, it gets the job done. Um, Again, I'm just gonna go more on the outside, make it wide on the outside and then on the inside. We're trying to make our eyes bigger. Um, and yeah, cool. So this is what I do. I usually just go to the bottom part um, of my eye and then go with that shape or with the angle of my wing. And now we're going to go on the bottom lash line. We're going to go in with that dark purple that we use, and we're going to try and just bring it down just a bit more, just to make our eyes just a bit more wider. Then bring it down. Just go a little bit, just only a little bit, and then pretty much just. going with some white eyeliner and then we're just going to line our bottom waterline over here. And cool! So that is our bottom side done. Now we're going to go to mascara and then just lay it on girl. So this is what I kind of do. I kind of go to the base of my eyelashes and then roll it. I just feel like it distributes it way more easier than just doing this because then um, your eyelashes will look a little, little bit clunky. Another easy thing to do is just do this, like brushing it like that, like that. And then after that, we're just going to do our uh, bottom lip a little bit. And once you put the glue on the lashes, just wait for it to go a little bit tacky and a little bit easier to stick on. And yeah, you can blow it if you want to. But does it really work? I really don't know. Cool. Now we're just going to put it on. And there is your eye. Now we're going to go to the lips. And that's pretty much nearly the final step. <laughs> I actually thought this was going to be fast, but obviously it's not. <laughs> but yes, let's go to the lips. So I'm going to go with these colours. One's more of the purple, one's more burgundy. Um, I'm going to use a purple to the outside of my lips and then I'm going to use a burgundy to actually go inside. And then going in with the burgundy. And now I'm kind of overlining my lips so that way it just looks a little bit more fuller. And finishing touches, we're just going to spray with our setting spray. And yeah, cool. Okay, cool. I am 
am back guys. I finished everything and I put on my hair just to show more of a difference between my makeup side and my natural side. As you can see over here, she's very, very natural. She looks like she's going to sleep in her pajamas. And then you look over here. She's ready to go out clubbing. She's ready to twerk on the wall and all that sort of jazz. <laughs> So yeah, this is my power of makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it kind of showed you like how different I look in makeup. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty surprised at what the difference is. <laughs> But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. And please give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, just comment down below. But otherwise, I'll see you later in the next video. Bye!